Yeah, yeah, man, it's the homie hood legend back with another vlog. Uh, subscribe to the channel. But anyway, to here today, we talk to talk about the champion of the year and how they robbed my nigga K Sean for the second year in a motherfucking row. The second year in a motherfucking row, they done robbed this nigga K Sean for the motherfucking champion of the year. Are y'all niggas getting tired of like dick riding these other niggas? Like, come on, bro. Nobody has put in work like K Sean in the last motherfucking two to three years. Who was the last nigga to beat K Sean? Who was the last nigga to beat K Sean? In the comments, tell me. Cause I can't remember. 2019 he had a good year. 2018 he had a good year. Like, I'm just trying to figure it out. And y'all niggas steady giving Geechee Gotti the champion of the year. I'm not saying he didn't deserve it. This nigga had good battles. He had some debatables, though. Like, when Kayshawn get up there, he kills shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is the kill switch. This nigga is the kill switch of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? You get in front of him, be ready. Be prepared to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, that, that's just it. And with champion, I feel like, they just like want to give it to a new, like a new nigga. And Gucci Gotti has been putting in work the last couple years. Like, let's just be real. This nigga has been putting in work, but he has not done enough work than K Shine. And K Shine has been around for a minute. This nigga is a legend and he's relevant and he's top tier and he's one of the best and he's undefeated. And I like, shout out to Charlie Clip TV. I seen Charlie Clip TV when he had a, uh, a segment up there talking about the champion of the year and all this shit like that. And he was uh talking about uh K Sean and all that. K Sean got robbed, bro. K Sean got robbed. Come on, man. Like nigga, niggas know that. Niggas know that. And like Geechee, Geechee had a a good year. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he had a good year. I'm not taking nothing away from him. Nothing at all. But like there's like, like I was saying, Charlie Clips TV said K Sean took off. Three months at the, end, at the end of last year, if I ain't mistaken. He said Kayshawn took off three months, like the last three to four months. But if you put in work from January all the way to motherfucking September and you take off the last three, four months, you still like that doesn't matter. That's that's it. That's they wrapping shit up. That's the end of the year, bro. That does not matter. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's what I'm not getting. It shouldn't matter if this nigga took off the last three to four months because it's not like he was going to take. Three or four more battles in those th uh, last three or four months. He may have took one, maybe two more battles. Cause Kayshawn don't, he don't water himself down like Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti has been watering himself down. And with Geechee Gotti doing that, how was, like, he's been champion of the year for two years. And with him watering himself down for these last two years, who the fuck is he gonna battle? Like, like, it's like he done ran out of dick as the battle. Who is he gonna battle? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not that many top tiers. And I don't see him giving a lot of up and coming niggas like a shot to actually come at him and, 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 and get a shot at that champion of the year belt twice. You know what I'm saying? Which it was just a lot of turmoil going on surrounding the champion of the year and all this other shit like that right there. So like niggas already know that they kind of made a decision off of like the rest. I feel like they made a decision off the rest. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was under the rest. And they made a decision because they like they they figured that they had to at this particular moment. It was almost six months into the year. And like, you know, what I'm saying they had to go to make a decision. And I feel like they made a duress decision by doing it against Geechee Gotti. And it's the second year that K Shine that, that they did this shit to K Shine. Like last year they did this shit. Geechee Gotti and K Shine battle. And that battle was for the champion of the year. Which, Kayshawn had a hell of a year. Geechee Gotti had a hell of a year. That was the first year. And they battled at the end. It was a colors battle. Blood versus Crips. And I still had Kayshawn winning that battle, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. I had Kayshawn winning that battle. But niggas had Geechee Gotti winning. And uh, they said he took that with champion of the year. So what was this year's uh, battle that made... That made them that pushed Geechee Gotti over the top and actually made them say that we're gonna give it to him back to back. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And like Clips was saying, like I said, Clips had a lot of good points. They should come out with another award. Most improved of the year. Six man of the year. Uh 
uh, on the way to top tier of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like it should be another award for somebody who 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 was doing good that year, but wasn't actually in the champion of the year conversation. So that should be another award that should be you know what I'm saying that should be brought about. And Charlie Clips made that point, and I think it was actually a good point. You know what I'm saying? But what enough is enough, bro. Enough is enough. I got to speak up for K-Shine if he won't do it because enough is enough. This nigga has been robbed for two years for that shit. This nigga had crazy battles. You know what I'm saying? Crazy battles. Crazy battles. And they give it to Geechee Gotti again. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Come on, bro. Y'all niggas are cheating the system. If you are the system, then you're cheating the system. Let's just be 100. You know what I mean? Let's just be 100 with the shit. You know what I mean? I, I keep it real over here at Hood Legend TV. And I'm not saying Geechee Gotti didn't deserve it, but he didn't deserve that shit over K-Shine. You heard me? I'm going to keep it a buck. That nigga did not deserve that shit over K-Shine, man. No if, ands, maybes about it. I don't give a fuck. Point blank, period. You heard me? That nigga didn't deserve champion of the year over K-Shine. K-Shine had a better year, and K-Shine is a better performer than Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti just has bars. Like, K Sean performs and, and, and this nigga's been around for a while. You know what I'm saying? Give, give, give the niggas who, who been in the game their flowers while they can smell them. It, it, Gitchy Gotti wouldn't be here if it wasn't for K Sean to a certain extent. K Sean kept shit rolling. You know what I mean? K Sean is that nigga in Harlem. It ain't T Rex no more. It ain't Loaded Lux no more. It's K Sean. He's that nigga. You feel me? And if Kayshawn was the battle loaded Lux, he would win. Just like I, I got him beating Clips. I'm sorry, Clips. You know what I'm saying? I got him beating you, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, it's the homie hood legend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all your latest news, updates, content in the world of battle rap. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all, yo, who y'all think deserve champion of the year? And like, do y'all niggas think K-Shine got robbed? And who was K-Shine's last loss? But don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man, for all your latest news, updates, content in the world of battle rap. I'm out. God damn, two years in a row, bro.